Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift programming. Oh, I keep saying Swift programming loads like through, but it's actually just a uh, Swift tutorial. Basically, uh, if you've seen any sort of cool app, they usually have um, table views and cells with rounded corners. So most of the time, when we create a table view, the cells are usually uh, just joined together, or um, they have. Uh, squared off corners. So I'll show you guys a quick and easy way of creating rounding corners. And there are better ways, but this is a easy way of doing it. So uh, rounded corner cells. And uh, it's really easy to be honest, but it does limit your functionality. Basically, what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be using sections, and we're going to be using the group inset controller. Um, no, it's grouped inset style. So, uh, let me just create a quick table view here. Uh, drag all this in. Okay, and let's just add a process type cell. Name this cell. Uh, link this up with the view controller table view. Table view dot delegate equals self. Table view dot data source equals self. Extension view controller uh, UI table view delegate UI table view data source. Now we just wait for the. Actually, wait. I can just do it myself. So we'll have a number of rows and section, and we'll return. Let me create a list here. I just use numbers as let numbers equals and I'll make it a list of strings just so it's a bit more uh, good since it, otherwise I'd have to do conversions between string and ints and yeah this just makes it easier so this is your list now I can just return a numbers dot count let me just run this okay Cell for row app, let cell equals table dot dq reasonable cell for identifier. And this is just um how to create a table view, it's nothing special. I've done loads of videos on this before. So that's why I'm just going through this really quickly. Uh, so return cell and now I'll just wait, why is this so weird? Oh, it's because I've done UI view controller. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is what a regular table view looks like. Now, let me show you how you can easily convert this into a one with rounded corners. So, first thing we need to do is I'm going to go to my table view and I'm going to make the style inset grouped. Now what I can do is I can make the background color something else like a uh, system group background color and then I'll make the cell background color uh, I'll just make it white or the system background color and now you can see we have the curve uh, the rounded corners and it does it for you so now we just have to make a few changes in the code and this does limit the fact that we can't actually have sections anymore so if you have sections, sections then you might have to have a different approach but for most most things this should work so uh, we'll have number of sections and here we actually return numbers.count and then for the number of rows we're just going to return one since there's only going to be one row in every section and then for the index path dot row we actually have to replace this with index path dot section okay so that's actually all we had to change now if we run the app again you can see we have it and you can edit the space in between and things and oh wait let me just make the background of the view the system grouped background color where is it? there we go so it just all matches up okay and this is our new rounded corners um, table view so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye